Hello everyone, Eileen here. It's the weekend, so uh, I'm doing a couple of Lavinia Stamps video tutorials for you. One today, Saturday, and another one tomorrow, Sunday. Something a little bit different this time, though. You will notice that I've got a couple of foxes there stamped, and then a larger fox in the background. Now this comes from um, Sweet Poppy Stencils, and it's an image designed by Tracy Dutton, of Lavinia Stamps and she has designed two foxes for Sweet Poppy Stencils and this is the other one. Uh, this one is called Sunny as in sunshine and I'll be using Sunny tomorrow in another demonstration. And this one is Eva and this is the fox that I've used here in my sample. Now being a stencil, a metal stencil, you can use it either way. So I've used it with Eva uh, looking right, but of course you could have Eva looking left. And Eva is very detailed, and you need to be a bit careful, especially with this tail area and around here, around the chest of the fox, because it's very sharp, so mind your fingers, clean with a brush. And also I'm not using brushes with this, I'm using some smoothies because I found that I needed to pounce through the stencil rather than smooch over. Um, I may be, tomorrow, I might try a, a proper stencil brush and see how I get on with that. But for that, today, I used smoothies and that's what I'm going to do again. So let's get cracking. Magnetic sheet. The cardstock, which is under here, and I'll also use a piece of copy paper and the cardstock. Cardstock is, um, <coughs> excuse me, multifarious. I have a slurp of coffee. Multifarious cardstock from Lavinia Stamps. And I've uh, cr taken an A4 sheet, folded it, creased it, and I've cut it to 14 centimetres in length, 12 centimetres in width. It's more or less not quite the same size as the stencil itself. So I'm just going to pop the stencil down, but I want to make sure I get the border at the t um, The sides don't really matter, but I want the border, although actually that doesn't really matter except for the spacing, I suppose, of the fox. Yeah, I get it very even, so I'm, I'm checking the borders, top and bottom, and more or less the same, so that it will be in the middle. I'm also using some Sweet Poppy stencil, stencil tape because I want to protect the cardstock at the top from stray ink and also from the bottom stray ink. Okay, there's my first stencil and, sorry, first smoothie for the stencil and ice spruce distress ink. So pouncing, trying not to rock the table, starting off at the bottom, you will find you'll get little flecks of material coming off of your smoothie because this stencil is very sharp, so mind your fingers, and it is taking off some of the, is it latex the smoothies are made of? Whatever it is, whatever the material it is, the, um, the stencil is sort of hacking it about a bit. It's this area with the tail that is the sharpest. I have to be careful because I keep moving the stencil well. It, the stencil is quite delicate here, so be careful, but at the same time, that's why you've got such a beautiful detailed image. Because of the detail that's been cut into it. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so up again, side of the fox. 
beautiful Eva. And then I'm moving on to dried marigold and a clean smoothie. And pouncing again and doing a bit of blending as well. Just taking it down, but I'm not moving into all of the ice spruce area. I want to leave ice spruce with its own identity and then over to the head of lovely Eva and round the chest area here or what's it called is it uh, is it the no I can't remember what it's called it's not a muzzle is it because that's around the face so well, anyway around the chest area <laughs> um, again it's a delicate fragile cut into the stencil so be careful I want to make sure I get some of the detail there. And then I'm adding ice spruce again, just a tiny amount, a bit of shadow on the ear. I'll be adding another stencil in a moment, a, a Lavinia stencil, so I'm not too bothered about that. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just going to, there's a, a few stray specks of the material from the smoothie. I'm just flicking those away. Now, now other than that, that's looking very good. So I don't need the magnetic sheet anymore. I'm going to swap it now for my stamp pad. You can use a stamp press if you wish and bring on the Lavinia Foxes to match. Ooh. Right, um, I'm using the smaller, there's uh, quite a few foxes on the Lavinia website. There's four quite large ones, each individually with their own name. And then there's two fox sets, fox set one, fox set two. And I'm using one fox from each set. And I'm doing this solely because of the way they're looking. I wanted them to look in a certain direction. And these two fit the bill. So this one is the first one. And this is from set two. Yeah, this is from set two. Move these distressings out of the way. I've got an acrylic block and Versafine Claire Nocturne Fairly Wet Pad Gentle Tapping Just going to remove the ink from around the sides that I've inadvertently put on. and then down and this one is just gently looking at the fox is looking at Eva whilst gently resting on her tail so that's about right letting the ink soak in whilst gazing out of the window <laughs> nice day down here in North Kent dry makes a change and it's um, it's not overly cold either my son who lives in um, Borsal Common uh, Coventry he's um, he's got snow up there he can keep it okay not come out fully no problem my ink pad is a little dry so going on to Fox number two, and this is uh, from Fox set number one. Number one's number two, it all gets confusing, doesn't it? Anyway, have a look on the website, you'll see them. 
gentle tapping again. To be honest, with um, ink pads that aren't as wet as they should be, a stamp press would probably have been better for me, but I've always lived dangerously. Okay, so now this stamp, I would like to see the curve of the fox at the bottom, with its near its bottom, meet the curve of the fox from the stenciled image at the bottom. So just lightly hover and then press down. Letting the ink soak in, press and up. And again, that one's not totally out, but again, I can fix that, so not bothered. I've got a bit of stray ink there. I can get rid of that as well. So just before I fix those, I'm going to do the other stencil, and then that's the background finished. Now, this is called Laurel. Uh, forget the bottom bit. I've cut it off because I use a lot of my stencils on my gel press. And to be honest, these frames get in the way, so I usually get the scissors out, as in this case. Sorry, Tracy. And uh, this is going down over the top of the stencil. And then with a smoothie, again, the same one that I used before, but now I'm using the other end. I'm using Archival Cornflower Blue. Not going mad with this. Hold the stencil down and then just making sure it stays in the fox's image, not out. Just very gently tap, tap, tap and up and maybe a bit on this side. Try and keep within the stenciled image area. But if you go out then, you know. You won't come to any harm, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> and then lifting up so that I've got another impression in this area. And then coming down here, doing a bit here and a bit more there. Let's have a look at that. Well, that's not bad. I don't think it's as nice as the first one that I did. But it's, you know, it's hit and miss sometimes. You can't replicate something absolutely identical <clears throat> as much as you try when you're using stencils. So that's it for that. Now, finally, I've just got to do something about my foxes. I've got some black ink pen. <clears throat> and a polychromous black pencil, and I'm using that first to fill in. Fortunately, this image, the outline is absolutely sharp and pristine. So I don't have to go near the outline, and that's wonderful. It's just filling in the middle. Which doesn't take long. Now, you could use a paintbrush and remove some ink from the ink pad and fill this in. But I like, I don't like to live that dangerously because I, I sometimes can make mistakes with that. So I like control and Polychromas pencil gives me that control. So I can rub out if I go too far and go outside the lines. Now I will just going to go to the pores with this pigment ink pen and just outline those a bit more so they're more solid. Let it dry. When I move on to the other fox, oh, wait a minute, I've missed the head of this one a bit. And the snout. You'll see pencil lines if you use pencil, but you know, it doesn't matter, it's texture, so it's the fox's coat, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> uh, just going to fill this one in here. And then here. All right, now a 
lightly go over this, make it a bit more opaque. Take your time, don't rush it like I am, because you need to take care with the image. Just have a look. That's not bad. Yes, I think that. I think I can live with that. Yes, I quite like that. Um, I'm looking to see what else there is to do. Nothing. <laughs> I decided that I wouldn't. I wouldn't do too much to this. When I saw how the card turned out, I thought I'm not going to start adding bits that I don't need. I was so pleased with how this image looked and um, how it came out. Sort of plain and simple, but I still think quite striking, to be honest. Um, I like both images. Maybe this one I like more stenciling, but this one I like more colours, so pays your money and takes your choice. But, oh, there's one thing I haven't done, excuse me, is that I do need to ground this poor fox that's sitting on the tail of Eva and also this one on the tail of Eva. So grey polychromous pen, so again, and then the black one again, just to add a little bit of shadow underneath. So, like so. And then I've overdone it there. A little. So where's my eraser? I'm just going to get a rubber and just rub some of that out. Or knock it back a bit. So it doesn't look, you can see that the poor thing has now got something to stand on, but it's um, not in your face too much to detract from the rest of it. Right, what do you think? I quite like it. Now there's a tiny dot there of stray ink and it's really winding me up. So... White pigment ink pen, and it's gone. And when that dries, that, that piece of white ink, you won't see it, won't notice it. Okay. Oh, I'm over a bit too much there. I hope that you saw that okay. I'll run the video back and have a look. All done. Thank you for looking today. I'll be back tomorrow with um, Sunny and another design, if I can think of one. If I can't, it won't be Sunny. It will be something else. <laughs> no promises. Have a nice Saturday. Take care now. Stay safe. Bye-bye.